Hello, Gene the OK Boomer here. Welcome to this week's vlog. What I want to talk about today is something that many of you, if not most of you, maybe all of you have already seen, but it bears mention. But uh, I haven't done a dementia, a Biden uh, dementia update lately. So I'm going to do one today because of this very embarrassing, well, I, I guess you could call it a visual gaffe. It was Joe Biden in the, the White House. He was meeting with um, some people and he, well, some people from the AFL-CIO, some, some labor people, he was meeting there and he was holding, I guess, notes in his hand of things that he wanted to say because he can't really speak extemporaneously. Things have to be written out for him, him to say. But unfortunately, he wrote or somebody wrote on the back of a pre-printed card. And so we could all see the front of the card. And you can see right here on this card I'm going to put up that it says offshore wind drop by sequence of events, which usually means that it's, uh, it's usually an itinerary or an agenda of topics to be discussed so that you can be sure to hit every topic. But here's what his says. Uh, I'm putting it up. You can look at it. But look at this. You and you in big capital letters. You enter. So he'll know it's him and not somebody else. You enter, not somebody else. You enter the Roosevelt Room and say hello to the participants. You take your seat. So again, so no one else. He takes his seat and and he doesn't take somebody else's seat, right? Big capital letters. You take your seat. Then press enters because the uh, president w w would not know that the press was coming in or would be there unless he had these notes, apparently. You give brief comments and then it shows two minutes. So he gives two minutes of comments and it's written down for him and you give, not somebody else. Then the press departs because he doesn't, uh, I guess he can't figure that out for himself. But you've seen this many times. The press tries to ask questions at the end of this and then some functionary, one of his handlers or nurses or, or uh, whatever, mental health uh, professionals watching him, they usher the press out. That's enough for today. No questions. That's it. Time to go. Time to go. Whatever. And the press departs, but he needs this on a card. Then you ask Liz Schuler, president, AFL-CIO, a question. So it tells him that he has to ask a question and it tells him who, who he's asking the question of. So again, not freely picking people from whom to take questions. I mean, could you imagine Donald Trump having something like this? And can you imagine if he did have something like this? how the press would react. But as usual, they're burying it. Just the conservatives are, are covering this. As far as I know, if I'm wrong, correct me in the, um, correct me in the, um, you know, the comments. Then finally, you uh, know what, oh, it says Liz is joining virtually. Okay, lets him know that Liz, um, Liz Schuler, the president of the AFL-CIO, CIO, is joining virtually. So he'll know that not, that she's not there because he couldn't tell otherwise. And then finally, you thank participants and depart. So it's all about him and it's, oh my God, I was just talking about Joe Biden and I just noticed I'm doing the same thing because, you know, I, I, I'm not a, I'm 70 years old. I'm not a young guy. I'm not as old as Biden, but my mind goes sometimes. And, and I guess I'm a hypocrite because I was just complaining about Joe Biden, but I, I have, I have notes too. I have notes of, of everything that I have to do in this vlog. And I wrote them myself. I don't have handlers to write them for me. So obviously it was great with great difficulty, but now that I've been exposed, I might as well read you, you my notes of what I do. So here we go. I enter room. I turn on lights. I turn on camera. I turn on microphone. I stand in front of camera. Let me check. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm in front of the camera. So I stand in front of camera. I speak which I'm doing now, and I get all of my facts straight. I always remind myself to get all my facts straight, and I always do. And so I get, uh, if I don't, I, I get corrected, but it, I can't even remember the last time I got a fact wrong, or at least the last time I, well, that's not true. I, I have occasional 
occasionally issued corrections, which is something that the president doesn't do. I would say, well, I, I said such and such in my last vlog, and I got some, something wrong. And once in a while, people put it, put it, uh, uh, you know, put me right or make a comment, and then I look into it. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But anyways, I, I made a note to get all of my facts straight. So I just try to do that so I, I won't be like President Biden and get all my facts wrong. So I get all my facts straight. And then finally, I turn off camera after I'm done speaking. So that tells me not just to walk out and leave the camera running, uh, which is something that Joe Biden might do. Uh, he just kind of wanders off sometimes. You've seen him do it. So I, I have to remember, I, have to, I wrote it here, I turn off camera after I'm done speaking. So that's what I'm going to do. I trusted myself at the end of the speaking. I didn't script all of my remarks the way the president has uh, uh, everything that he says. I don't have a teleprompter. So I, I always have to struggle to remember to say what I'm going to say now, which uh, is Thanks. This is the vlog for this week. Thanks for stopping by. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend with me. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions for future topics, you can put them in the comments section below the video. You could share this video with anyone you think would enjoy it. You could subscribe. I love getting new subscribers. But most of all, uh, come back and see me again. I would love to see you all again. And until I, until I do see all of you again, Bye.